What's going on guys? Today we are talking all things budget and by the end of the video we will have this whole lineup filled with budget players, some budget demons and this video is perfect for people who are no money spent, maybe just people that are, are you know some money spent or even people that don't want to spend their coins yet because the market's kind of in a weird spot. These players can be added to your team and make an instant impact. Real quick though, before we get started, we do have a giveaway going on right now for the launch of Madden 24. Five winners, five $25 gift cards. Just follow the instructions on your screen right now. And instead of messaging me on Twitter, just reply to my pinned tweet. Okay, let's get started with the wide receivers. And the perfect example of a budget wide receiver is Jamison Williams. Jamison Williams, he's got a good price tag. And what you're looking for in a budget wide receiver is someone that has good speed and good size, or at least one of the two you know that, that's all you're really looking for on a budget wide receiver and Jamison Williams checks both boxes he's six foot two with 84 speed good physicals you're never going to find a budget receiver early game that can do everything I mean he definitely has his holes but he's only going for 8k in this card you could add to your team and 84 speeds 84 speed no matter how much the card costs so yeah Jamison Williams is a great start and for the rest of the receivers uh, j joining Jamison Williams we have Marquise Goodwin and Taquan Thornton. Taquan Thornton is also a pretty solid card here, 84 speed as well at six foot two. Um, to me, he has worse acceleration than Jamison, so I put Jamison over him. Um, we also do have a Marquise Goodwin as well. Marquise Goodwin, again, checks off one of the boxes because the man is a little bit small, but he does have 84 speed and he's budget. He's literally going for 7K, the same as Jamison Williams. So yeah, he checks off one of the budget boxes, but Jamison checks off both of them, having good speed and good size. So yeah, those are our budget wide receivers. Okay, so I went ahead and filled out the offensive line real quick. What I look for with offensive linemen is if they check off one box, like run block, strength, pass block. For example, look at a guy like Andrew Vore. He's, he's a 71 overall, but literally 87 strength is one of the best in the game right now in general. So that he's able to check that box is a big W. If you, if you don't care that much about the strength, you could obviously go out there and uh, try to find someone with maybe some better run block. You could do that. But I think strength is very important for kind of, you know, you know driving people down the field. So I like Andrew Voorhees a lot, um, especially like Tyler Smith. Even Tyler Smith has, has he's got 84 strength and even some better, you know, run block, pass block, that stuff like that. But um, I'm trying to keep it like under 10K for a lot of these cards in the offensive line, which can be tough, especially because there isn't that many offensive linemen in the game per position right now. So it definitely can be tough. But yeah, that is the offensive line. Uh, so next up, we have our safeties. And again, just like wide receiver, you're never going to find a budget safety early game that checks off every single box. What you're looking for is speed. That's the that's the probably the most important box. And then height, acceleration is important, and also you know hopefully he's got some decent stats elsewhere. And Nick Cross has that six foot, eighty two speed. I've been using him on my team, oh, playing over the top, and the card actually plays very well. You know he's actually making plays as an over the top safety. So uh, Nick Cross, he's one of the better ones. I'm also as far as free safety and users go, um, I would probably want to play this guy over the top. I think as a user is where this card's gonna play a lot better. I'm not even gonna try to say his name, I think it's Ifatu or something like that. Ifutu, Ifitu Mel Melanowo, Melanowo. The reason why he's here is because as a user, he's got 79 speed and he's six foot three. And he's a safety, so he's already gonna animate better than linebackers. So uh, yeah, we got Ifutu, Melanufu there for the free safeties. And I'll go ahead and show you the guys on the squad already. We got Percy Butler and we got Nazith Johnson. Both guys have good speed. Uh, maybe not the tallest guys. Percy Butler is actually six foot, which is pretty good. So same as uh, Nick Cross. So I'll just show you Percy Butler right now. Um, I can show you on Mata GG as well. Let's just, let's, just, let's just do that. Let's go right here. Database. And you see right here, 85 acceleration, 82 speed at six foot um, for our man Percy Butler. So, so a couple solid options right there. Um, all for about, all for like pretty much under 10K as well, which is, which is, which is, which is quite good. That, that, that's, what, that's what you're looking for in a budget player, especially early game. So next up, we have our linebackers, our inside backers, and our outside backers. And to get started, we have Brian Asamoa. Uh, uh, Asamoa. I believe I said that name right. Asamoa. Uh, that looks like that's how it sounds. But we have Brian here. Uh, middle linebacker with 79 speed, 84 acceleration at 6'1", 225. If you don't know, linebackers naturally are going to play better against the run than, than safety. So if you are going to be going budget, I would probably pick up a linebacker there instead of a safety to use our early game. Um, it's going to be hard enough to get picks as far as speed goes, you know, with your user. So you might as well be able to stop the run as well because the run's very prevalent in Madden 24. So I like Brian Asamoa. Um, if we head back to the, uh, to Mud.GG, I also like Owen Pa, how do you say that name? Papo. Owen Papo is pretty good as well. He's got 83 speed, 85 acceleration at six foot. Um, who else we got here? We got Jamin Davis, who you can even use for some of these cards. And a little tip for you guys, if you are looking for budget edge rushers, guys that are going to be initiating with blockers, I wouldn't look for outside backers because as you're going to see right here, 
the outside backers that, that they give good speed, they normally don't make them good pass rushers. And there's Jamin Davis for an example. And also, yeah, By Byron Young too. Not, you know, you know, he's, uh, this is actually the wrong Byron Young. This is not even the right one. Hold on, let me find the right Byron Young. They keep switching the face on me here. Byron Young, that's not even the right one. But the real Byron Young is like 82 speed or something like that. Oh, here he is. The same picture though. Um, so it threw me off. But yeah, By Byron Young, this edition, 82 speed, 83 acceleration, and can't really rush the passer that well. So a little tip for you guys. Um, outside linebacker, you know, budget players normally cannot rush the passer that well. They're mainly gonna be used for users or guys that you drop into zones. Okay, so at tight end, I have two options. That's gonna be Noah Fant and Josiah Daguria, or Dagura, however you say his name. But six foot four, 81 speed, 85 acceleration, also pretty good route running. I mean, Noah Fant's always usually a very good budget option. And as far as Josiah goes, he has 82 speed, 84 acceleration at six foot three, so also um, pretty good. What you're looking for at tight end, obviously size and speed, uh, uh, you know, those are both, you know, very important. That, that's the name of the game here for budget, size and speed. I'm, I sound like a broken record, but that's what you're looking for. Okay, so now we have the running backs. We have Chase Brown here, who is the fastest card in the game with Tyree Kill at 86 speed. But there is one problem with Chase Brown. I think his price will fall, but he was discovered. People found this card, 86 speed. Acceleration is not that good, but still 86 speeds, 86 speed at running back. So this card was discovered, and the, you're going to see the problem here with this. Uh, if we go to the auction house, I believe he's going to be going for like 20K. So um, if you pull a Chase Brown, you sell, you sell him. But um, yeah, I think his price will fall. The you know we all know that the auction house right now is kind of um, it's not it's not the uh, it's not the most uh, saturated right now. I think when the game comes out, his price will inevitably fall. But if you don't if you don't want to um, if you don't want to spend twenty k in a running back, which I understand, uh, we have a, we have a, a secondary option here. That's gonna be Kendra Miller. Kendra Miller right here going for nine k on the auction house. Um, he also has a good dripping game as well, if that matters to you. But eighty five speed, get running back with seventy five acceleration. He's just like a slightly worse version of Chase Brown. So. Those are your two options at running back, Kendra Miller and Chase Brown. Yeah, but unfortunately, Chase Brown was discovered. They uh, they found Chase Brown being having 86 speed, so uh, his price has uh, definitely gone up. But I also do like Kendra Miller as well. And also, one more bonus I would say is uh, Kenneth Walker. I like Kenneth Walker. Uh, he's going for about 15k, but 83 speed is also pretty good for Kenneth. Uh, if you don't if you don't feel like it's worth buying these uh, two gold rookie cards. So now we have our defensive lineman at right end. I'm going to go with Amari Barno. Uh, he was the one of the fastest cards off the edge last year to start the year, and it's the same this year. 82 speed, 83 acceleration at six foot five, 245. So great size there. Um, for defensive tackle, what I was looking for was guys that will just clog the middle because you know you're not. It's gonna be hard to find a guy with good block shedding, you know that crazy strength and stuff. So I went with guys that are just gonna clog the middle as far as their size goes. Pause. But uh, Jalen Carter, 71 speed, has good speed. He's also six foot three. And a two, and sorry, not two, three, 14. And we have Mozzie Smith. I got him for the size here. Um, he's six foot three, 337 pounds. Has decent strength, not the best speed. But again, I was looking for guys with a decent combination of speed and size to clog the middle. That, that's what I was looking for at defensive tackle. And finally, for left end, I went Will Anderson Jr. Kind of a no brainer here. This card is rare for a budget card because you saw in a Marty Barno. He may have had a good speed, but he had really had no pass rush, you know, pass rush uh, uh, attributes. Will Anderson, 77 speed, good acceleration, 77 finesse move, and 73 power moves. Also pretty good against the run as well for a card that goes for under 10K. So uh, those are your defensive linemen. Okay, let's just get right into our cornerbacks and we'll finish off with quarterback here today. We have Derek Stingley, Caleb Farley, and Dante Jackson. Derek Stingley is a headliner card. He's on the more, little bit more of the expensive side, but 85 speed at cornerback. He's been on my team. He's been playing great. Also does get outmatched, does get ability. So if you want to play him in the slot, maybe match him against running backs, he'll play very well against running backs. No running backs getting open against Derek Stingley. We then have uh, Caleb Farley. It looks like he's going to be the kind of a staple budget card to start the year every year in Mutt because he has that size and speed combination. Again, the stats are not great, but it's the physicals on Caleb Farley that we like. And finally, Dante Jackson. He's not the tallest guy, but he does have 85 speed, which is really nice. And if you just take a look at the cornerbacks and we just sort by speed, uh, you'll see that there really isn't that many amazing options. Um, I'll just scroll through. Caleb Farley's here. Dante Jackson. Stingley's here. Stokes is even decent. Stokes at six foot one, eighty-five speed. You could use him even over Dante Jackson if you'd like to. But normally Stokes cards, they go for a little bit more because people kind of know Stokes to be a super budget option to start the year. Um, but there's some decent options. There's some decent options right now in the game for budget at cornerback. Um, but I like these guys the best. I like uh, Dante Jackson, Caleb Farley, and Derek Stingley. And finally, last but not least, at quarterback, we got Justin Fields. 79 overall, 
But you guys see the hole. The hole on this card is his accuracy stats. If you're someone that wants to play more from the pocket, Trevor Lawrence is a decent option. He's a little bit more expensive. But again, if you're going to spend somewhere, spend at quarterback. They touch the ball every single play. So, and they throw the ball and they, they're they the main part of your offense. So if you're going to spend somewhere, spend at quarterback, spend that 50 can on quarterback, maybe 70 can on quarterback, do what you got to do. Go out there and get a quarterback. But Justin Fields, if you're someone that's going to run the ball, really good. You know, early game, if you want to run some read options, speed options, maybe even roll out with Justin Fields, 83 speed, 85 acceleration is elite at quarterback right now. So he's elite at a, at a certain category, which means he has to be, he has to be on the budget video. He has to be on here for his price. If you're elite at something, he's got to be on here. Uh, but like I said, if you want more of a passer, he's not going to be your guy. Um, maybe, if he, maybe even if you want to, you know, if you have a, already have a passing quarterback and you want someone that can run read options for you, come in the game and run read option for you. Um, Justin Fields is good for that. I also did add Kari Blazing game as well to the, uh, to the squad as well. So um, yeah, that's going to do it for our budget squad. Here's the offense. Here's the defense. And the final price to this team, if you want to build this team right now on Xbox Next Gen, the price comes out to about 120K, 150K, somewhere between that price, um, somewhere between those prices. And I don't think a lot of these cards are going to drop in price when Legends and RPs come out. I feel like the Elites will drop more in price. The Golds probably won't move that much. But um, yeah, it's a pretty good, it's pretty solid. Even if you want to add just a couple of these guys to your team, go for it. Like, you know, uh, Kendra Miller, Jamison Williams is a good receiver. You know, there, there's some good options on here. Even at corner Stingley. I mean, I have some of these guys on my team right now and they've, they've been playing well. So um, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. If I didn't miss anyone that's been playing well for you, that could be budget. Drop a comment down below, help someone out in the community. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.